Well, the TV is the TV periculum. This uh, capacitor had vented. That was the smoke from the base. I got a replacement. Um, it's a thousand micro 35 volts. And I did unsolder this uh, little plate here. That connector board. There's two resistors. They were in parallel with uh, the windings, um, the horizontal ones. So I've color coded all my windings disconnects here. So I've got some red one, but things on here black and blue. So I know where they go when I put them back together. So hopefully that will fix the TV and then it's working. Just for my documentation, this is the layout and I'll just document it for this video. So if the TV works, I'm very happy. So C302 has failed, so I'm going to replace that, as you can see in the middle of the screen. It was not C302, it was C4573. 02 was a non-populated part on the circuit board. Here I've got the culprit with the split casing, and its replacement is sitting here. Well, the moment of truth. I'll plug the TV in and see if it works. May not work. Energize the TV. It works. Fuck. It works. Let cook for a few minutes, just in case. It works. This is so cool. I just said warm up for a while. It works. I'm amazed. I'll visualize a few more color effects on it. Oh, nice, look at these colors. This is quite spectacular. The purity is depuritized. Look at this. The blooming effect on the TV. It's quite interesting. These colors are really cool. De-energized camera.